Hi friends, welcome to the lecture series on electromagnetic fields. In this lecture, I am going to explain you how to find out inductance of a coaxial cable. These coaxial cables are used in communication systems and electrical transmission systems. So, this coaxial cable are nothing but two cylinders having same point as center. So this is a cylinder. So let it be the radius of the cylinder is A units and there exists another cylinder over this whose radius may be equal to B units so that this cylinder is considered as inner conductor and this is a outer conductor. So let I be the current flowing through the inner conductor, the same I will come out of flow through the outer cylinder in a opposite direction. So that the magnetic flux density in between the region of these conductors is B and its value is equal to mu naught I divided by 2 pi rho A pi. That means the magnetic flux density is a function of distance between the space between that exists between the inner and outer peripheries of outer and inner conductors. So that to evaluate inductance, we need to find out the flux linkages that are linking the conductor. So we know that the flux linkages or the magnetic flux that was established in the area is equal to pi whose value is given by this pi is the, is the closed integral over the surface b dot ds. We know that the differential surface area ds is equal to d rho dz a pi. Here the length of the cable which does not know so that we evaluate this differential area for unit length of cable under such circumstances dz is equal to 1 so the per unit length area surface area of the cable is equal to d rho d where dz value is equal to 1 you can put 1 here so if we put 1 here and this value is equal to a pi which is equal to d rho a pi now you substitute this ds value in this equation and p along with the value of b so that we can find out the flux magnetic flux that was available in the surface 
that is available in between the conductors. So that this rho value changes from outer radius of the conductor to the inner radius of the outer conductor and B value is mu naught i by 2 pi rho a pi dot ds value is d rho a pi. So, mu naught is a constant, i is the current that is also constant, 2 pi is also constant. We can bring out these constants outside the integral. By doing so, we can write it as pi is equal to mu naught i by 2 pi integral rho is equal to a to b 1 by rho d rho. You know that a pi dot a pi is equal to 1. So, which is equal to log is equal to mu naught i by 2 pi ln rho with the limits a and b. After simplification, we will get this value as ln ln b minus ln a. You know that log b minus log a is log b by a mu naught i by 2 pi ln b by a. So, now we, we have the, we know the value of pi, but what would be the value of n for a coaxial cable? n for a coaxial cable is 1, because the coaxial cable does not contain any turns in it. So, the value of n for a coaxial cable is equal to 1. Now, coming to the definition of inductance, L is the flux linkages, ratio of the flux linkages to the current which they leave. So, the flux linkages are n into pi and these flux linkages are linking with the current I. So, that this value is equal to by substituting the values of n, pi and i, you know that n is equal to 1 into pi mu naught i by 2 pi ln b by a into 1 by i. So, i i will get cancelled. What remains left is mu naught by 2 pi into ln b by a is the flux linkages, sorry, uh, self inductance of coaxial cable. So, the value of self inductance of the coaxial cable is L is equal to mu naught by 2 pi into ln b by a in this. So, this is how you can find out the self inductance of a coaxial cable. I hope you understood my lecture. Please watch the lecture thoroughly and if you have any doubts, please post in the form of a comment so that I can clarify your doubts to the best of my knowledge to the best what I can do. The hope I found you in the next lecture. In the coming lecture, I am going to explain you how to find out or evaluation of inductance, self-inductance of a toroidal coil. Till then, bye.